Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to take screenshots within your applications and save them to your um, photos. So um, already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Screenshot Project for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is simply add our quartz core um, framework in as this will enable us to take um, the screenshot of, uh, of our application. So just go to build phases and drop down the link binary with libraries. Click the little plus symbol and just simply start typing quartz and it should pop up there. We'll just simply add that to our project. Once that's in, we need to go to our viewcontroller.h and import it here underneath the UI kit. So simply do enter and import. And now we just simply type in quartz core. And then forward slash and again quartz core. And dot h at the end. Once we import it there, just after our UI view controller, do bracket enter, and then um, at the second um, curly bracket there, we need to add our action button. So we do dash bracket IB action, and I simply name it screen shot. Just get rid of the send ID sender there, and at the end, put a semicolon. Once we've done that, we can simply save it, jump into our view controller.m. And I'll just make a fair bit of room here so you can clearly see what I'm typing out. So we start by doing dash bracket IB action and entering our IB action button which we created in our dot H. And then after that we do a space, curly bracket and press enter. Again I'll do a little bit of room so you can clearly see what I'm typing out. And then what we're going to do is simply add in the code now. So simply when our, we press our button, the whole of our screen, the whole of our frame, will um, kind of take a screenshot as you would when you press both buttons on the iPhone. It will take a screenshot of the current screen state and it will be saved within your um, photos on your device. So what we do is simply type by um, UI graphic begin image content and in the CG size here we do simply self dot view dot bounds dot size and that red bracket and a semicolon then we do enter bracket self dot view dot layer space render in um, in context here in the highlighter section here we do UI graphics um, get current content there we go. And at the end we do a bracket and a semicolon and then press enter. Then we need to do UI image um, space asterisk and then just give a quick name uh, screenshot image screenshot image there space equals space UI graphic um, get image from current image um, context, there we go, and after that um, to um, bracket so we do a bracket and a semicolon, and then we press enter, oh we sorry, um, not the bracket sorry, just after the um, final bracket there we do a semicolon and press enter, and then what we would need to do then is UI graphics end image um, context, so UI graphics, um, UI graphics Oh, sorry. Graphics end image context. Sorry, and in that we do a semicolon, and then we need to do UI image right to um, save it to our um, photo album. So UI image right to save photos album. In the first highlight section, we do the name of what we called our UI image, which is image screenshot. In the second, we do nil. The third, we do nil. And the fourth, we do nil. 
and then end that with a semicolon. So I'll quickly just go over what we've um, basically done there. So um, we simply told it that we want to, um, when we press it, we want the image to um, take the whole of the screen size here. So the whole of the screen size, we want the um, image to be taken of. And then um, once, basically once press the button, takes the, of the whole of our iPhone or iPad screen, takes that image and then gets that image and then basically saves it to our photo album. So if we just jump into our view control our XID and I'll simply place in a button, simply name it screenshot, I'll link the um, action button now to it, simply touch down and I'm going to add in a couple of labels here and one there on there, just so uh, when we take the screenshot, we can clearly see the um, label. So if we jump into our simulator now, go to build and run. Just wait for this to load up now. Now this is quite easy to show you on the simulator, as um, it will save to the simulator's um, folder of the photos. So once it loads up here, then we just simply press screenshot. Now we should nothing fancy happens, but. Um, no fancy little flashing or noises. So if we just um, go to our home of our um, simulator and scroll all the way to our photos, you see here we have one save photo. Let's click into it, and there we go. So the moment we pressed our button, it simply took a screenshot of our whole screen with our three labels all together there. So that's simply how you take a screenshot of uh, your screen within your application. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you um, like to leave us a comment or any feedback on this tutorial, just simply send us a message or leave us a comment. Or get in touch with us on our website, our Facebook or our Twitter. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And most importantly, make sure you favourite and like the video as it really does help us out and gives us a wider audience and more people can learn from our tutorials. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.